This is a crab from 70 million years ago. There was fear in his eyes right now. Four dragons with sharp teeth. Crabs are the best source of protein. The little dragon next to him, hungry, peeked his head out, ready to hunt. But unfortunately, they don't seem to be much taller than crabs. The mother dragon can only chew the hard shell so that the brothers can share. But one of the little ones seems to have a mind of its own as it eyes. Another crab not far away and sees its target galloping along. Unfortunately, it was almost. But the little guy did not give up and he wanted to catch another one to prove himself. Mother dragon shouted, let it not run out of their protection range. The little rebel shook his head. The mantis catches the cicada. The yellow sparrow follows. He had barely taken the steps when a gigantic tongue popped out and rolled him into his stomach. The two remaining brothers shuddered and fled to their mother's feet. The mother dragon looked at the devil frog eating her child and let out bursts of little growls. As the biggest toad in history, eat this little dragon. It won't have to starve for another month. Although the mother of the dragon is helpless, but also can only take the rest of the children and leave. In this age of food scarcity, the dragon mother is not the only one who loses her children. This giant Tyrannosaurus Rex dead is taking his five little ones into the sea with its hollow bones and powerful hind limbs. Tyrannosaurus Rex was the champion swimmer of the dinosaur family. The adult Tyrannosaurus Rex is dominant on land, but it can also protect itself in the water. But the T-Rex cubs are in a bit of danger because these waters harbor the largest predator on Earth, the dragon. It was the size of two adult Tyrannosaurus and it weighed more than 15 tons. The children clung to their father's body, except for the last strike the dragon gave it no chance to struggle and disappeared on the sea in an instant. After landing, Father Tyrannosaurus Rex looked at the calm sea and felt an inexpressible sadness in his heart. She had 15 cubs, of which only four survived today. The law of the jungle, natural selection, that was the rule of the Cretaceous. This unknown creature, 70 million years old, was just about to poke its head out, but it pulls back into his shell because a T-Rex comes along as the overlord of the land. He is not interested in the live turtle, but focuses his attention on another turtle. The dead turtle weighed to tons, just enough for a full meal. The baby Tyrannosaurus Rex also wants to rub off on the stutter, but it is scared away by the father's roar, and it wants to exercise the children's ability to hunt. As night falls, the hatchlings slowly climb out of the sand. They're perfect for baby T-Rex training. The T-Rex babies, who haven't seen anything, are scared straight back by the waves. Looks like they still have a lot to learn. At the bottom of a cliff, the newborn Drosaur babies. It's not easy to survive. The mother Drosaur left here early. In order to survive, they must rely on their hands and feet to climb the cliff face together and meet at the top. They have to learn to fly. They have no teacher, no mother, and the only thing they can rely on is themselves. The small Drosaurs hesitated and tested back and forth on the edge of the cliff, and no one dared to act rashly. Because if they fail, all that awaits them is death. Finally, a brave little Drosaur spreads its wings. Its brothers and sisters followed, marching in neat formation toward the fog forest on the opposite bank. Only when they get there does their life really begin. Suddenly, a barbary Drosaur streaks across the sky, breaking apart the little Drosaur formation in an instant. Faced with a predator like this, the little Drosaurs had no fight. All they can do is fold their wings and use their falling speed to escape. But flying low also means it's harder to get to the other side. Losing its sealed lift, the Drosaur is forced to land in the ranks of the other Drosaurs. This was the end of the Drosaur's life, and very few Drosaurs made it to the forest. This dense forest provides them with food and protection. It may be five years before they can fly back to the open sea to join the adult Drosaurs. This is the bottom of the Earth 70 million years ago. A plesiosaur picks up a pebble, gulps it down, and then it picks up a second one. The plesiosaurs weren't just eating rocks. They were eating too much hard food, such as crab shells. In order to facilitate digestion, they must dive to the bottom of the sea to find smooth, angular pebbles. It acts as a ballast and a grinding stone to digest the food in the stomach. However, also possessed of this wisdom, there is the lord of the sea dragon. It slowly dived into the deep sea, saw a small and big fish, opened a big mouth. The little fish had swum into his mouth, but the dragon did not move. But he's not here to hunt, he's here to massage. The dragon is actually a type of giant lizard. Every summer, the dragon comes here and lets these little fish help it shed its old skin. He enjoyed the little fish, giving him a massage. When comfortable, it will even roll over. When he's done, he pops his head above the water and opens his mouth for fresh air. Just as the green dragon lamented the beauty of the world, suddenly a young green dragon came. He's here to fight for territory, and it looks like the little fish here are very popular. The two dragons then begin to fight, attacking each other. Equal, the fight goes on for quite some time until one side gives up. So archaeologists always find broken teeth of their own kind in the fossils of the dragon, which is proof that they fought for survival. As the old dragon floated to the surface, the young dragon was buried in the sea forever. Although the next challenger will arrive soon, for now this reef remains its domain. It's going to be a big night for a rock in the depths of the ocean. They glow dreamy blue, searching for a mate in the calm. Dark depths of the ocean, these two ammonites with the same rhythm are intertwined, and together they give birth to their new life. However, the grand and glorious light 
is only for tonight. When the first light of morning comes, 